August 1990. 100,000 Iraqi troops invade neighboring Kuwait. Iraqi Prime Minister Saddam Hussein is out for oil and for blood. 39 nations vow to liberate Kuwait from Hussein's clutches. Gulf War I is imminent. The United States leads the way. We must resist aggression or it will destroy our freedoms. The coalition's plan starts with a full-scale air attack. They call it Operation Desert Storm. January 17, 1991, the start of the first Gulf War. Eight F-15 Eagle interceptors lift off. A strike force of coalition bombers follows behind. My mission goal was basically to take the Eagles out in front, about 100 miles out in front of the strike package, and clear the air of any adversary aircraft. Marine Captain Chuck McGill was an exchange pilot with the Air Force and a mission commander during Operation Desert Storm. We were protecting 40 F-16s. The F-16s were carrying two 2,000-pound bombs. The bombs are meant for al takadam Airfield and Weapons Center, 45 miles west of Baghdad. Something else is at El Takadum too, the Iraqi Air Force. A long war with Iran has turned them into seasoned fighters. About 20 miles west of their target, the F-15s get an urgent message from the Airborne Warning and Control Center. They had intel that there were two MiG-29s airborne south of the target. I immediately yell, push it up, push it up. So now we go full afterburner in the Eagle, which is, you really start hauling now, and we're chasing them down. McGill and his wingman quickly realize they've fallen into a trap. We started getting launch indications from surface-to-air missiles. And so we came under heavy anti-aircraft uh, attack. With McGill and his squadron distracted by the missiles, the MiGs close in for a fight. They went from 380 to about 650. So now something's up. When I see the closure between the two airplanes, it's 1,295 knots. So we are smoking at each other. There's not a lot of time. With the Iraqi MiGs just seconds away, McGill locks onto his target and fires. The first missile was down low, and it came up and popped the MiG right in the right wing root. When I go to fire the second missile, everything got quiet. I could tell I was moving, but I couldn't feel that I was moving. I watched the missile come off, and I just watched it kind of float away. It lasted maybe four or five seconds, and then all of a sudden, it's like someone hits you with a cymbal. All the noise comes back, and it's hectic as it can be, and you're moving, moving away again. Then you look down at the MiGs, and they're about 9,000 feet below you in a slant range, and they blow up. Less than 10 minutes after spotting the MiG, McGill has obliterated his attacker. Minutes later, the rest of the coalition strike force roars in behind. They make quick work of al takadam and other military targets. Operation Desert Storm is the most effective air campaign the world has ever seen. 